Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is the 21st lesson in meteorology. We're going to continue where we uh, or, or look at a new uh, weather system. We're going to discuss weather interpretation like we did in our last lesson and look at another weather system in a different region of the country and try to make sense of what's going on. So this weather system, uh, you can find it online on freepilotgroundschool.ca on uh, weather package two, I believe it is called. This uh, weather package was downloaded on, on February 27th and discusses uh, the weather that happens between uh, Midnight Zulu on the 27th and Midnight Zulu on the 28th. And this is in the Ontario region. So like we did the last time, the top one is clouds and weather uh, taken and, and displayed at the validity uh, period. So the one on the top left was issued on the 26th of February at 2330 for the time period starting half an hour later at midnight Zulu on the 27th. And then that pattern continues. The bottom uh, one is uh, the icing and uh, turbulence GFA is the icing and turbulence GFA that shows up at uh, 12 hours prior. So what they were forecasting. So for example, the one on the the bottom left was taken at 12 Zulu on the 26th, forecasting what's going to happen at midnight Zulu on the 27th. And then, of course, the radar is in uh, real time. So let's get started with the uh, one on the left. So here we are on February 27th, the midnight Zulu. Uh, we look at here the validity date, midnight Zulu, and it was uh, prepared the day before at 2331, so half an hour before uh, there. So we can see generally right here, we can see a nice warm front right down here. Here's a warm front. And we're going to be spending most of our time uh, looking at what's happening in Southern Ontario, Toronto, and into Quebec, okay? But let's make life easy. Let's just start with the top here. This is Moussigny right here, okay? And in Moussigny, the GFA is calling a scattered at uh, 7,000, top 16,000, and then broken bases at uh, 3,000 tops at 7,000, patchy ceilings, light snow, 1,200 AGL. So we compare that to what's actually being reported in Moussigny, okay, an automated weather observation, light winds, nine miles, scattered at 1,200, temperature minus 16, two point minus 18, ultimate is 3035. So if we look at scattered 1,200, so right here, they were calling ceilings at 1200. So it's a bit better than forecast. It's a scattered layer. And this, the GFA was calling a broken ceiling, but they think that they, uh, they were able to forecast the actual altitude of the clouds uh, pretty accurately. Then let's uh, go uh, ahead here. This is Quebec City. So it's ahead of this frontal system. And uh, in this area, we can see if we look uh, right here, Okay, let's just look there. Local three miles in light snow, mainly eastern sections. And then in this area, we actually, if we want to look at the clouds and weather, we'll look around here where they're talking about broken layers, 6,000 feet tops at 20,000 and scattered at uh, looks like 3,000 to 5,000. So compare that to the Quebec City Metar at that time. So they're calling gusty winds to 23 knots, scattered at 5,000 feet and overcast to 5,800. So that makes sense uh, with what we see over here. And uh, let's get uh, down into like where it's truly terrible weather. So right here, remember the symbol? Can you remember what that is? That's freezing rain. So in that region, they're talking about, if we look right here, overcast tops at 16,000, bases at 3,000, uh, one to four statue miles in snow, patchy ceilings, five to 1200 AGL. Uh, there are also, if we look here at the A and then the comments, local three miles in light freezing rain, light rain, mist near New USA border. Uh, so that's kind of miserable in that area. And then let's look at Toronto. This is what's actually being reported. Wind 04010 gust 15, one and a half statue miles, the runway visual range on six left, 4,500 feet variable to plus 6,000 feet with an upward trend, light snow, overcast uh, vertical visibility, 900 feet. So that's from the snow. So you're looking up, all you see is uh, 900 feet up uh, because you're looking into snow. 
So that is the weather that we get from this winter warm front. So this is in the winter time and it, it begins with, with snow uh, and it's miserable, miserable weather. Now we look at Montreal, let's take a look over here. So in Montreal, uh, again, in the vicinity of the warm front, it's gusty winds are 4015 gusty 20. Four miles light snow, few at 1000 overcast at 2000 there. Temperature zero minus uh, two point minus two. So uh, those are the two stations that are in the vicinity of this warm front, and we're going to see how it evolves. Let's compare that to the TAF. So at the 27th and midnight Zulu, so that would be right here. They're calling Windsor 50 uh, 15 knots. So yeah, that's that's what the METAR showed as well. So they're pretty accurate there. Three miles in light snow mist. And then temporarily during this time, three quarters of a mile, light snow vertical visibility at 600 feet. So that's what happened to hap uh, happened to happen at to midnight Zulu is that is uh, that temporary condition uh, ended up coming true, where the visibility was down uh, down below through in below VFR limits anyway, and to vertical visibility, it's light snow and there's uh, reduced vertical visibility. Let's look on the uh, right side here at the uh, at the icing turbulence and freezing level. So this was taken 12 hours earlier. Uh, actually, sorry, I stand corrected. That was only taken half an hour earlier. But you can see here, if we just look at this whole region, it's just absolute a mess. So they're calling moderate icing in a lot of areas. Uh, some places have like severe they're calling severe icing so it says localized severe icing below 3,000 feet and then freezing precipitation and then because of the strong winds right here they're calling moderate turbulence uh, from the surface to 3,000 HEL. so we're not in the mountains and the big advantage here is uh, even though we have icing here we'd want to climb to 12,000 feet to get out of this icing but uh, We'd probably be okay here because we're we're not going to be stuck, uh, you know, trying to navigate mountains that are 12,000 12, feet high or something like that. Now let's look at this weather radar here at the bottom. Um, you can see here the, the weather: Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa. There's a whole area right here. This whole system it's just miserable. There's a lot of returns. Uh, you know, the highest ones between Toronto and Ottawa, like 40, 42 dBZ. Uh, Toronto is like 30 dB said. So st strong weather returns from that snow. And you know, like snow generally is not very reflective on radar. So when you see snow and you see such strong uh, radar returns, you know that snow is going to be really wet and likely you're going to end up with like a lot of icing. So this would be indicative of this freezing rain that we might see uh, in the in the frontal region. So let's continue to see how this uh, this weather system progresses over time. So here we are 12 hours later, now at 12 Zulu. Look right here. And the it was issued half an hour prior. And we can see a strong frontal system develop here. We have this uh, cold front down here. It reaches the low right there. And then here we have this, you can see me draw there. That's our warm front right there you're going to end up having strong winds because the, the isobars are uh, so close together and uh again moosini up here well it's gusty winds because of the low so we look up here uh, it's gusty winds uh because the isobars see how close they are together but um it's nine statue miles overcast to twelve thousand feet which is pretty good and they were calling here uh broken layers if you look right there, 6,000 feet tops at 20,000. So it's not bad weather. It's just kind of cold and windy, but uh, but it's still VFR weather. Now let's look at, uh, if we go down here into the uh, Toronto region, I think right here. So Toronto is now uh, a, a uh, cold front has passed and we look Toronto right here, 09015, three miles light snow, drifting snow overcast to 1400 feet. And uh, if we compare that to this weather right here, okay, we'll just compare it. They're calling scattered clouds. Uh, so here it actually ended up being overcast, but uh, they were calling a scattered cloud. So they're a bit off uh, there. If we look 
here, uh, Montreal would be up here. Okay, Montreal. So up here, uh, if we look at this, let's just look at this area. So overcast at 3,000 feet, tops at 16,000. So that's for that whole area. And I guess that's where uh, the Toronto weather, because it's still bounded by this area, would come in. Uh, one to four miles, light snow, blowing snow. So that's what we see in, in Toronto as well. Uh, so right here, uh, occasional to cumulus Castellanus, tops 22,000, half a mile, light snow showers, blowing snow, ceilings, 300 AGL. Local one mile, light freezing drizzle, mist, mainly over eastern section. So that's this symbol right here. So it has the comet. It kind of has that weird symbol with the comma. That means it's a uh, it's freezing drizzle. And so we look at Montreal, uh, Montreal right here, uh, and points to right here. Um, so that's Montreal there, and uh, it's eight miles light rain, overcast at 2,500 feet. So uh, then we look at Quebec City, and I think I screwed this up earlier. I said it was Montreal, but it wasn't. It was Quebec City. So my apologies if I made a mistake there. Quebec City uh, has drifting snow. It's gusty winds to 41 knots. That's really, that's strong wind. Drifting snow overcast at 2,600 feet. Let's look at the TAF for Quebec City and at 12 Zulu. So it's calling for strong winds, uh, gusting to 25 knots temporarily midnight to zero two, so we wanna get all the way to 12. We'll keep going down, zero two to zero eight, keep going down, 27th, 11 Zulu, no, 11 Zulu. So we can start looking here. From 11 Zulu, wind 070, 25 gusts 38, so we saw that. Two and a half miles light snow broken 900. So that's kind of similar to what we're seeing right here for uh, uh, Quebec City, uh, later on and here there's a probability one and a half miles like freezing drizzle and mist so that kind of makes sense what we see in uh in quebec city it's just kind of uh it's just kind of miserable so i should actually cross this out sorry i made a mistake here just ignore this because that's for an uh next in uh, in 12 hours on the 28th if we look over here on the turbulence and freezing level. So it still shows the frontal system. And then it says, and then we look here, let's just say we look right here, localized uh, moderate uh, icing, surface to 3,000 feet mixed. And uh, so right there, and it's moving uh, northeast at 15 knots. Okay, let's uh, look at what happens 12 hours later. Okay, so now we are 24 hours later from when we started, February 28th at midnight Zulu. And uh, let's take a look at how this system has developed. So here we have the low pressure uh, region uh, right here, okay? With the trowel right here, you can see this trowel. So the front is somewhere like way over here, it's outside of this range. And then here uh, we have a trough. So that's a trough where you have a low pressure region and then the isobars kind of go up at an angle or down. You can see how they, it's not circular. It's, it's uh, so we call that a trough. Then this is the symbol right here is this line. So the trough, you often get like frontal weather as well. Uh, Toronto now, well, right here, I think there's Toronto. Uh, the wind's gusty. Notice how close the isobars are together, but it is generally uh, clear skies, 15 miles and scattered 2,400 scattered at uh, 3,500 temperatures minus five. So the temperature's cooled off because uh, the cold front has passed through. If we look at Montreal um, up here, okay. So again, gusty winds, six miles, light snow, drifting snow broken at 2,500, overcast 4,800. And then that compares with, if we look right here, this is this weather in that whole kind of green hatched region. They're calling uh, overcast skies at uh, 3,000 feet ASL. So that makes out that that's the same as uh, broken at 2,500 AGL that's shown in the METAR. Tops at 20,000, three quarters of a mile to three miles light snow, blowing snow, occasional alto cumulus tops at 240. And then there's heavy blowing snow 
And uh, so that's kind of what we see here as well. Here it's it's, it's light snow and drifting snow, uh, but in the in those regions you can, can end up with blowing snow. If we look at Musini up at the top here, okay, so it's Musini, strong strong winds up here, one mile in light snow, vertical visibility 900 feet. So finally, the bad weather is caught up with Musini, and we're getting uh, the effects of that system uh, from that trough and what we see. Uh, right here. So those are these localized areas of three quarters of a mile that we're seeing. So it's the 28th of Midnight Zulu. Let's look at the TAF. Um, and TAF doesn't quite go that long, but the closest it is for Quebec City is on the 27th of 21 Zulu. So three hours before. Then it will probably carry into it a bit, but it calls for strong winds gusting the 32 and uh, two miles light uh, snow and blowing snow. We look on the right side, uh, clouds and, or sorry, the uh, ice and turbulence and freezing level right here. So we look here and uh, and it's going to be calling because of these strong uh, strong winds right here. Okay, so they're calling severe turbulence from surface to 3000 AGL. So that's mechanical turbulence, low level wind shear. And then right here, this is, uh, if you take a look right here, see these arrows? This is a low level jet stream. It's uh, at 70 knots. Okay, so we can expect, let's say we're flying at 3,000 feet, we might end up with a really, really strong wind. And uh, right here in this area, we have patchy moderate uh, icing, 3,000 tops to 12,000 mix. It's so another low level jet stream here at uh, 50 knots. Okay, if we look, the system has now moved out of uh, the area. So let's just take a look here and look at all that uh, turbulence now over Rimouski, Montreal, Quebec City. There's still some crummy weather, uh, which does make sense if we look at Montreal right here, but uh, it's moved away from Toronto. It's not much uh, left in Toronto. Anyway, that concludes this lesson on weather interpretation, the second lesson on weather interpretation. So we have one more to go. We'll look at uh, one more weather system and that'll be it for meteorology. Uh, thanks for joining me.